first thing we're... First thing we're gonna do is not drop the flash drive on the deck that can fall into the cracks. Eek! Good beautiful morning to y'all. It's a beautiful Friday morning. I'm gonna try to knock this out early. It's supposed to rain here uh, later this afternoon. But today, we're gonna go ahead and flash the Yaesu DX10 with the latest software, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's just get everything uh, set up and going. have noticed a yellow line in the tree that I'm not using. That's because, well, I put it up there for another shoot and just to hang a dipole in the tree kind of semi-permanently, but it got stuck. I can't pull it down. Yeah, about that go ahead and uh, go over what we'll need to flash the radio. Of course we need a radio and plugged into a power source. We're going to need a brand new flash drive. Well, it's brand new to me. You can reuse the one that you have and a computer. First thing we're going to do is take the flash drive here and insert it to the radio and allow the radio to format it. Let's go ahead and get a close up on that SD card and format. Okay. It takes a minute to format it, but not that long. All right, and we are formatted. We're gonna go to back, back, back. Cool. We're gonna take it out of the radio now and insert it to your computer. Next, we're gonna go to the computer and we're gonna, gonna type in Yezu FTDX10 and go right to the Yezu's page. We're gonna go to files and scroll down and download the firmware update information because uh, it needs to tell us how to do it and the uh, firmware itself. There's also a couple other nifty things that you can download here. Uh, network controllers and the USB drivers. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. Thank you, Yezu, for putting that right on your webpage. I love it. So let's go ahead and download the update and the PDF about the update. Here we got the manual for how to do the update. On the first page, it's going to tell us what the um, update fixes. On the second page, oh look, it's telling us how to already flash the drive, which we just did. Finally, the update itself. I've downloaded the zip file. It says unzip it. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. I love 7-zip. Seven 7-zip seven is amazing. There's also an update in, manual PDF within the update, so good job for Yezu. I really do appreciate that. So step three is to open up the SD card and then go into the FTDX10 folder. Then we're going to drag and drop all the SFL files into this directory. And there we go. We're going to remove the SD card now, put it into the radio, and we're going to push it in. Setup. Yes, we want to go to the setup. And we want to do firmware update. 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 That was really easy. That's awesome. Well, that's update. Let me go ahead and tell you what's in the newest update. Support for USB mouse wheel operation. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you can scroll up and down. Support for individual transmit and receive scope level settings. Increase receive IF bandwidth functions for CBW, all, all the different modes, up to 400 hertz. Added 50 steps parameters to a menu option. Fix memory channel list bug. Thank you. Fix Fixed tuning indicator bug, thank you. Fixed SD card operations bug, thank you. Because um, if that, if I stumbled across that, that would have been a bad day trying to update this. And uh, improved other functionality and minor optimizations. So that's what's all in the latest update. And um, once it finishes, we're going to go ahead and get on the air. Thank you, J W B B Cam. Taking check in the wild system. Please call. Of course, I find the YL net. Do y'all sit there on the frequency all day saying check-ins, check-ins, check-ins for the YL net, check-ins for the wild net? That's two hours you've been calling. Jeez. This is Kilo Golf 5 Alpha Hotel Juliet.
This is Kilo Golf 5 Alpha Hotel Julia. I got you a 3333 three, 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 North Texas. Seven three. I got that contact right on top of some interference around here. Of course, I'm set up at the house, so that means interference from that house, then that house, and that house, and that house, and that house, and of course, this house. So um, I'm gonna try my best, but if we're at a park, man, you know, this will be much better and a better noise floor. So uh, I'm gonna continue the thumb along and see who else I can find. When the band conditions are not that good around your house, what are you gonna do? Run some FT8. While I'm wrapping up here doing some FT8, uh, I'm gonna say uh, thank y'all for watching. I uh, hope this video helped y'all uh, get your radios flashed and notes up to date. And uh, till next time, y'all, go forth and conquer. Bye.